Airport. Today we are flying to Toronto because we need to get Nick back into the country before his permanent residency card expires in two days time. Now before anybody jumps to any kinds of conclusions about what we're doing going back to Canada, I need to fill you in on how we got to this point. I applied for Canadian citizenship back in January 2022. According to the Canadian government's website, the whole application process would take six to nine months end to end. That would have meant that I would have my citizenship and we'd be out of the country with two passports to travel around the world with no further issues. However, we are now at January 2024 and I don't have a shiny Canadian blue passport yet. That's the main reason why we have to go back. Technically speaking, everything of mine is approved and I am good to go. I was initially sent an invitation to take my oath of citizenship back in September, but we were in Singapore with no means of getting back to Canada at the time, and they don't allow you to take the oath of citizenship outside of Canada, so it wasn't feasible for me to do it then. So essentially all we're doing with our time back in Canada is waiting for me to complete that process, get that passport, and then we'll be on our way to the next set of countries that we intend on visiting. But enough about that, lounge time. here at the Strata Lounge here in Auckland Airport and since it is an all new lounge for us that means it's time for an all new rating. As per normal we're starting off with food and the quality of the food was excellent however it was a small selection and there was no fruit available at all there was also no salad bar they did have a few vegetarian options but I just found the food quite limiting so we're giving it a six out of ten drinks wise it was pretty standard in terms of the wine beer cider and top shelf alcohol selection then it was pretty much everything that you expect then there was coffee soda dispensers juices the only downside is that there was really nothing portable that you could take with you which in our view does mark it down so we're giving this one a seven as for the cleanliness 9 out of 10, nothing to complain about. As for comfort, all different kinds of seating options, all available for whatever you want to get out of the lounge. So very much run out of the mill. So we're giving this one an eight. As for amenities, this lounge has a surprising amount. They have your standard plugs and USB ports for charging, Wi-Fi, there are bathrooms within the lounge. The showers are huge, very modern, clean and gorgeous. We are currently sitting in their children's playroom. It's basically just a big open room with a few bean bags, toys, and TV. It's nothing much, but the fact that they have one is great. They also have a business center here with a conference room and a printer available, as well as a relaxation room. So we're giving it an eight out of 10. And that brings us to a grand total of 38, which again, ranks us around the mid table mark as far as the lounges we visited are concerned. After 13 hours, we have now made it to Vancouver. 
we have a three hour stopover here before we head to Toronto, so let's go to a lounge. Two lounge ratings in one video. That's not bad. You lucky devils, you. So the lounge that we were just in is the Plaza Premium Lounge in Vancouver's domestic terminal. The food selection was kind of limited in the same way as the Auckland Lounge, but the quality was lacking by comparison. So we're rating this one a six. As for drinks, they had a very large coffee and tea selection. They also had pop and some juice available, but the downside was that none of it was takeaway. As for alcohol, it was also limited to one red, one white, one beer, and you had the option to pay for top shelf alcohol. So with that, we're giving it a six out of 10. Cleanliness, nothing to complain about. So we're rating it the same as we usually do with a nine. As for the comfort in this lounge, they had a few different seating options for you and all of them were quite plush looking and very comfortable, but there were no loungers or anything like that. So with that, we're giving it a seven out of 10. The amenities were pretty standard for what you'd expect. So there were shower rooms, there was obviously Wi-Fi available, charging ports at practically every seat. I think there was also the option to have a massage chair downstairs as well by the reception. So pretty part of the course, giving it a seven. The grand total for this lounge is 35 out of 50, which puts this solidly as a middle tier lounge. After all that though, it's now time to catch our final flight to Toronto. After 20 and a half hours of travel, we have finally made it to Toronto, but we're so tired, so we're just excited to go see our friends and family now. We'll catch up with you some point while we're here, but until next time, take care. And keep smiling.